What's up everyone? So I'm going to show you today how you can export the cool icons from the SF Symbols application that Apple introduced in 2019 and how you can use those in a Mac OS application. Currently it's only really supported in iOS applications but I'm going to show you how to use it in a Mac OS application. So I'm just going to bring up the app here, SF Symbols, and the one that I'm going to use is this code icon here. I actually have a need for this in my own Mac OS application that I'm building. So what I'm going to do is I've got it selected and I'm going to go up to the menu. I'm going to go File, Export Custom Symbol Template and it's just going to ask me to save it somewhere. And it's going to be an SVG, a Scalable Vector Graphics file. I'm going to hit Export and as you can see it's on the desktop over here. Let's just move it over here where we can see it. So if I currently, you know, Go to preview this, we're going to see that we've got all the variations that we would expect to see, you know, in here as per normal from SF Symbols export. Now, because we can't really use SVG as, say, a, an image for an icon on a, on a button in a Mac OS application, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into Sketch. Now, you can use any application that'll load that SVG file. I just like to use Sketch. So, I'm going to go across, I'm just going to drop, drag and drop that in here. And the one that I'm going to go with for what I want, I think actually I am going to go with this one right here. So I'm just going to drill down to find this symbol, the one that I'm looking for here. Right, so we've got regular medium and then there's the shape. And then what I'm going to do, and again, you know, any application of your choice that loads SVG graphics is fine. But the one thing that I like about Sketch that makes this super convenient, if I go to the Make Exportable, and I'm just going to plus this a couple of times, by default it's going to give me a 1x, a 2x, and a 3x. Right? And what it's going to do is export PNG files at that size. Now the reason this is convenient, you're going to see right here. I'm going to go Export Selected. It's going to ask me where to put them. I'm just going to say, you know, just put them on the desktop. It's fine. And I'm just going to hide sketch here. So now I've got a 1, a 2, and a 3x of these graphic files, right? If we just load them up, a 1, a 2, and a 3. Now because they're PNG files, what I can do, I can go over to Xcode here, and this is my application. I'm, this is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to create a button here, an image button, right? But if I get now go over to my Assets folder here, my Assets library, and I open this up, you can see I've got one I've already done this to, and I've got a light and a dark image version there. But I'm just now going to say a new image set. And what I can do is, if I just bring this down from full screen, and then let's just find our files. Let's just move these around, make this a little easier. There we go. Okay, so what I can do now is, let me go back to my image set here. There we go. So now I've got this 1 and 2 and 3x. And I can literally just drag and drop the perfect match for the sizes on there like so. So now I've got this beautifully rendered uh, graphic file at the correct sizes. And it's not jaggy or pixelated or anything like that. And I'm just going to call this. We're going to go in here and I'll name this. Because I'm actually going to use this here. So I'm going to say add code icon. There we go. And so now, when I go back to my storyboard, what I can do is I can now go ahead and use this on a button. So I'm just going to bring up here and I'm going to say I want a button. Um, actually, the one that I really want is this one here, an image button. So I'm just going to drag and drop that here. Just for the sake of this video, I'll fix this up later in my actual application. But over here now, when I go to image, you will see I have my icons here, so my add code icon. As soon as I click that, boom, there it is. So let's just make the sizes match here just because, you know, it's going to bug me if I don't fix this. So it's 36 by 36, and there it is. So I've taken my SF symbol graphic, and I've now got it as a button here in my application, and it exists rather nicely as well up here in my assets catalog. So that's how you can use SF Symbols in a Mac OS application. Hope it's been helpful. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, tell a friend, whatever. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know this has been helpful or if there's any questions that you have, and I'll be happy to try and answer them. That's it. Uh, more stuff at compileswift.com if you're interested. And with that, I'll see you next time.